How does Corning test Gorilla Glass? We perform device level testing. Usually it's done to simulate what our customers do. So our customers do a lot of device level testing. Um, so depending on the application, we will try to simulate what they do. Oftentimes one of the most key device level tests is something called a drop test. Uh, that's where the cover glass uh, really shows its performance. And device testing is interesting because we learn how the device and how the glass interact with one another, how it responds under those conditions. Those conditions are intended to uh, simulate as best we can in the laboratory real life situations and so we derive a lot of understanding when we combine that kind of testing with our ability to do failure mode it provides a lot of insight into uh, how glass performs what causes glass to fail uh, or its performance to be degraded under those kinds of real world situations we take the results of that device level testing done in a controlled environment and compare that with what we see when we do failure analysis of devices that have come back from the field. By merging that information together, it gives us a lot of insight into what's important about glass performance. A successful device uh, really depends on the integration of that cover glass into the device itself. I like to tell people that I can give you the best piece of glass in the world, but if it's put into a flawed design, then it won't perform. Likewise, I can give you an inferior piece of glass and we can put that into the best design device and you still won't get the performance. So really the best performance is integrating that glass into a device in an appropriate way and that's really what defines the performance that one can expect. Really the innovation depends on the voice of the customer and understanding what drives performance and one of the things that's happening in the world is that devices are getting thinner and lighter, which drives the use of thinner glass. In order to make that possible, we have to continue to innovate and improve the performance of our, of our product. So that means investigating uh, new processes, investigating new unique materials that will enable device makers to drive to those smaller, thinner packages that are of interest to everyone.